This week, we've been asked to comment several times on the AT&T and Time Warner deal. The reason Time Warner continues to trade at a substantial discount to the stated acquisition price is the belief that the FTC may block this deal. That would be crazy. They are not each other's competition. AT&T's competition is Facebook, and Facebook is kicking its ass. This continues the crazy gestalt we have in our society where regulators and lawmakers want to hang out with the hot girl and allow Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Apple a totally different set of standards in terms of tax avoidance and regulation. Old economy firms and the people they employ need all the help they can get. Blocking this deal, stupid. Winner tourists visiting the UK. Since Brexit, luxury items now cost less in Britain in dollar terms than anywhere else in the world. Isn't the real luxury time with loved ones? No fucking way. I bought a Rolex at Heathrow International Airport for 3,000 pounds last week, 3,600 bucks. Bring on the bling. As a result, watches and jewelry sales in the UK have increased 16%. What of Cartier's most expensive watches? is $15,000 less in the UK than in France. And Vuitton bags have a discount of around $200. Because of the increase in demand, LVMH has raised prices by 10% this year without suffering any impending losses. Last week, Burberry, who has been struggling to maintain margins, and in my view is one of the most overrated brands in the world, reported a 30% increase in sales from the UK. A loser social apps. One of our favorite research sources, CB Insights, took a look at the most popular words that startups use to describe themselves when trying to raise money. They found that app, mobile, and online have waned in popularity. The word social saw a particularly steep decline. The new buzzwords, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and natural language. Funding to AI startups reached a record high this year, and tech giants including Google, Apple, and Samsung are rushing to acquire these firms. We did an analysis of my email box and found digital IQ, capital allocation, and two-headed glass dildo were the most popular terms. So predictable. We'll see you next week. Subscribe now.